It has been now almost two years since Janet's Super Bowl halftime performance made news around the world. The FCC received more than 500,000 complaints about that broadcast. CBS was fined $550,000. And then the NFL was asked to refund the $10 million that they had been given to the halftime show sponsor. So Janet says that this is going to be the first and the last time that she ever talks about what happened that day. First of all, I have to ask you this. Was it planned, Janet? No. It was not what, planned. Well, what people don't understand is he was to take and rip the piece off that he did. The but, leather piece. Right. But more came off than what was supposed yeah. to. So he was supposed to pull that off, and we just see the red yes. there. And he ripped the whole thing. Yes. So he, knew, he had you practiced or whatever before? Yes, we did. Uh huh. And so the moment that happened, you immediately covered your breast mm -hmm. because you didn't want to be exposed. Mm -hmm. If you'd wanted to be exposed, you wouldn't have covered it. Exactly. Okay. Very embarrassing moment. It was a very embarrassing moment. Yes. Well, 24 hours after that Super Bowl, Janet issued an apology. Uh, and I, I had read some, in another magazine that you regret making that apology. Is that mm -hmm. true? Why? Uh, it was an accident. And management that I had at the time they thought it was important that I did, mm -hmm. you know, with the project coming out. And, and I had said, actually, before I sat down to, to uh, record the apology, that I had said to them, What, what, what are you apologizing yeah, for? Yeah, why am I apologizing for an accident? Well, you did say in the apology you apologize for anybody who might have been offended. By right, and, yeah. and they wanted me to say that, so, uh -huh. so I did. They thought it was best that I do, so I did. Do you think in any way that uh, Justin Timberlake left you hanging out there? <laughs> I am speaking to Miss Jackson. <laughs> Do you? Well, uh, the, all the emphasis was put on me, mm -hmm. not on Justin. And uh, <laughs> just, Justin, we were friends. Mm -hmm. and, and not that we, we aren't now. We haven't spoken, but, but uh, I consider him a friend. And I'm very loyal, and friendship is very important to me. Well, Just, Justin Timberlake recently talked about the incident. Did you know that? I, I heard that. Okay, yes. on MTV, and this is some of what he said. He said, if you consider it 50-50, meaning I think that both of you are up there on the stage doing this, then I probably got 10% of the blame. I think America is harsher on women, he said, and I think America is unfairly harsh on ethnic people. So that's what he said. Do you think... Do you think people were too hard on you? I think they were. I think they did put all the emphasis mm -hmm. on me, and uh, as opposed to us. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to say, just to, to let people know that Justin has reached out to, to we haven't spoken, but mm -hmm. has reached out to speak with me. And like I said, friendship is very important to me. Mm -hmm. And certain things you just don't do to friends. Yeah. And um, in my own time, in my own time, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, give so him a call. So when you say certain things you just don't do to friends, do you think him ripping the whole thing off? Is that what you're no, talking no, about? No, no, no. Um, when you had said, uh, certain things were said, supposedly, or that he had said uh -huh. um, during that whole fiasco, uh -huh. uh, I had heard. Mm -hmm. And um, kind of leaving you out there hanging. So you do feel that he left you hanging? Uh, to a certain degree, yeah. Okay. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.